Um, this new policy that Kezia Dugdale came out with this week about basically giving money to first-time buyers, um, this was money that was supposedly going to be used to help people who would be affected by George Osborne's t t cut tax credits. That's correct, yes. Uh, George Osborne has since abandoned those. I, I struggle to see the logic of saying money that was earmarked to help the poorest people in society should now be given as a bung to people who want to buy a house. Well, I think you're being slightly uh, unkind to this policy. This is a bold and radical policy that Kezia Dugdale launched uh, it's a Tory on Tuesday. Policy. This isn't a bung uh, to people who are looking to buy a house. This is to support first-time buyers who are struggling to get on the property It's a Tory uh, policy. It was a Tory, the to people who will qualify for this will have already been in a save-to-buy ISA, which is set up by the Tories, and they could have potentially got £3,000 from the Conservative government already. All you're doing is saying, we'll, we'll, we'll do double Tory in Scotland. Well, let me just work through this uh, carefully for you, because I think it's important, rather than using words like bung and using words like uh, using the APD money uh, twice as being completely incorrect. The air passenger duty money was allocated to tax credits. That's no longer required to be used because of the U-turn that Labour won in the House of Lords and the Chancellor reversed in his autumn statement. So that money is available to be reallocated, and Kezia has reallocated it to this policy. So let's set that aside. The second thing is, let me just run through the hypothetical of a couple who are living together. If they they were to put £100 a month each into the new help to buy ISA, they would have £7,200 in that ISA after three years. The UK government tops that up by £1,800, which takes it to £9,000, and Kezia's policy would give each couple £3,000 each to take that up to £15,000, because that's the kind and of and deposit that's required. What on earth on the has this got to do with helping the least well off in society? Well, this is because 96% of first uh, term buyers uh, buy a property that's less than £250,000, so this is the kind of deposit you require. It's about aspirational in terms of Scottish people who want to get on the property market. There's 75% okay. right. of young Scots at the moment who think they'll never be able to buy their okay. own home. This is the right thing to do to help them. And let's, let me just finish on this point, because I think it's important. Well, very briefly, this isn't just we're about, But this just isn't about getting first term buyers on the property market. This is also about putting money into the economy. There's nothing better than stimulating the economy than people buying their first okay. home. That's important as well. I'm tempted to ask you exactly the same question again, but I don't have time because we're out of time. But look, Ian Murray, look, thank you very much indeed for joining us Thanks, this morning. Paul.